welcome to Friday 6-1. The headlines this evening. Biden bonds in big debate. Questions over whether the US president is fit to face Donald Trump in November election after his performance. Everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump. He's right, he did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. The Democratic Party is reeling after a dismal performance by Joe Biden in the first U.S. presidential debate. President Biden's team requested an early debate to try and put the worries about his age to bed. But it appears to have backfired after Mr. Biden stumbled over some answers and trailed off during others. Donald Trump, although accused of lying, appeared much sharper. The 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden. This was the moment Joe Biden needed to show American voters that at the age of 81, he was fit to run the country for another four years. But it backfired. Hoarse, halting, and occasionally confused, Joe Biden lost ground early on to a more confident former President Trump. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, <laughs> if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. The two men sparred over the economy, reproductive rights, migration, and foreign policy. President Xi of China, Kim Jong-un of North Korea, uh, all of these, Putin, they don't respect him. They don't fear him. You want a World War III, let him follow and win and let Putin say, do what you want, NATO. Joe Biden tried to fight back. The crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for, for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant? I mean, what, what are you talking about? You have you, the morals of an alley cat. I didn't have sex with a porn star. Even Joe Biden's supporters are saying last night's performance was disastrous and there are calls for him to step aside. But even if he does, and that's by no means certain, there's no clear front runner to take over. The Democrats are in crisis today, just a few months away from an election in which they say the future of American democracy hangs in the balance. Yvonne Moriarty, News, New York. Well, shortly before we came on air, I spoke to Niall Stanage, who's White House columnist with The Hill newspaper and website. Niall was in the room in Atlanta for last night's debate. I first asked him if, after his performance last night, it was now all over for Joe Biden. I wouldn't say it's absolutely all over, but last night's debate was a disaster for Biden. There's no two ways about it. And Donald Trump has now gone from a slight favourite to win the presidency to a heavy favourite, unless there's some kind of a change. Obviously, for Democrats, that's just a cataclysm. They see Mr. Trump as a danger to American democracy. The problem is, can Democrats persuade President Biden to stand aside? If they can't, it's almost impossible to beat him. So will he withdraw? That's really the big question here right now. And who would be more likely to persuade him to withdraw? Well, really, I mean, the people that he listens to closely are his wife, the First Lady Jill Biden, and he also has a sister who he's pretty close to. Beyond that, there are a coterie of Biden age who've been with him for decades, dating back to his time in the Senate as far back as the 1980s. But whether a broad and somewhat stubborn man like the president would listen to advisors rather than to actually family members, I think is questionable. And if he can be persuaded to step aside, who's likely to replace him to get the nomination? Well, there's no hot favourite, and one of the things that has saved Biden up until now is the lack of a truly compelling alternative. Obviously, Vice President Kamala Harris would be free to run if the president decided to withdraw. The other names we hear most often are Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, and Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan. Those are the two really big names outside of Vice President Harris. And Donald Trump was clearly delighted at the end of that debate. This election is his to lose now, isn't it? 
I think so. He was uh, leading by a small amount going into this debate. There were a couple of polls just before it that put him up four points nationally. We expect that lead to grow. And remember, Eileen, the history here is the polls undercount Mr. Trump's support. So he's clearly in the driving seat now. All right, Niall Stanage, uh, columnist with The Hill newspaper. Thank you for joining us on 6-1 this evening.